Welcome to Vermont Fish and Wildlife's Invasive Species Program LEAP. These videos and accompanying web pages will help you to locate, identify, evaluate and treat, and prevent the spread of these invasive species. This video covers Japanese knotweed. Japanese knotweed is located mostly along rivers and streams. Another really common place is roadside ditches. We are standing in front of a large patch of Japanese knotweed. It can grow all sizes from these little plants that are just colonizing to these large plants that are actually going to get larger later in the season. They probably can get about this tall sometimes. They grow usually in very dense patches once they're established and they have a very distinctive leaf shape. It's sort of a straight line at the top and then it tapers. It's sort of like a triangle and very large. And another thing that's very distinctive about this plant is their, they have these hollow stems and that's maybe why it's sometimes called Japanese bamboo. And they usually have these long, these long roots and those are the fragments that can get detached when there's a flood and wash down the river. Japanese knotweed will form really dense thickets at the expense of all the native vegetation. They also do not anchor the riverbank as well as native plants do. It's really, really difficult to eradicate by digging. Uh, again, unless you get really young plants. The tried and true method is just to uh, cut it above ground. You're in it for the long haul. You can't just cut it once. You gotta cut it about, they say once a month throughout the growing season. And you need to do that for four to five years until finally roots just get exhausted and, and give it up. And the other way of doing it is if you have a small localized population is to cut it and then cover it with a heavy tarp or heavy black plastic and you can smother it that way. And again, for really large infestations, you almost need to use herbicides, but you need to be especially careful with populations near riparian areas because there's restrictions on, on using herbicides near open water. And again, that's generally not recommended for the average homeowner. The knotweed spreads mostly by water, and you just need to be vigilant and get the young plants. It likes to root in exposed mud. So one way to prevent it, I guess, would be to keep if you have riparian or river frontage, to keep it well vegetated. Don't leave any exposed soil because that's where the knotweed's going to colonize. You need to be vigilant because you can get the small plants out. For more information about Japanese knotweed, contact Vermont Fish and Wildlife.